Well, welcome to this week's home tour. Today, we are in Valley Village at a stunning 2023 new construction by a husband and wife dynamic design duo. I think it's time we take a look. Well, welcome in to our newest listing at $3.279 million. You think it's worth it? Let's go find out. Hello, it's me. And we are entering our first bedroom. Technically, this is staged as an office. We wanted to give the buyer a little of diversity here. But this is the bottom floor bedroom. You have these awesome cabinets built in, pane cover here. It's just a great use of space, direct access onto your little courtyard, which I think would be really nice to look at when you're doing some work. You got the shiplap ceiling and into the bathroom we go. I will say this bedroom is where you can use a lot of that fun color. Into the bathroom, we're going a bit darker. So take a look, black penny tile on the floor. In the shower, it just flows into here with this really neat black tile that is kind of got this distressed wear and tear look to it. Almost feels like brick. They went with a darker space here. I'm enjoying it. Definitely enjoying it. So coming away from a bedroom that uses some of these bolder colors, we're gonna continue the fun into the bathroom here. Not just any bathroom, but the powder room. Toilet, sink, half bath. There you go, that's your typical powder room. And here you have this really fun designed mirror, the unique shape, which you can have with these two little bulbs right here, nice warm light. This is just fantastic. I wanna say this is marble, but the ribbed pattern, along with just that nice inset of a sink, the waterwork fixtures, man, very nice. It's nice. Voila, the room where the magic happens. And I will say this, I've shown this home to a few buyers. Every time they step foot in this room, it's like the conversation just gets carried on and on and on because they don't wanna leave because that is just this type of space that this is. That's the type of energy that this room explodes onto you. Oh God. And that's the type of energy this room exudes on you, right? I know. That is the type of energy this room secretes upon you. That's the type of energy this room emits on you. And that's the type of energy this room emits upon you. Like vibrant joy is what I'm getting. And maybe it's coming from this masterpiece of a wall that is flooded with windows, bringing natural light into the space. Maybe it's the architectural details in the arches separating the kitchen from the dining room. Maybe it's the Calcutta marble that flows from your waterfall island to the fireplace surround to this damn bifolding door that leads you into just a lush and peaceful backyard. Maybe it's that. Take me. Go to hell, big friend! Into the backyard. Here we are. So 6,700 square foot lot with a 3,100 square foot home. So, you know, there's not a wild amount of backyard space, which is why it's so important that the space you do have, you do it well. Plant the right hedges, which once these ficus trees grow 18 feet tall, it's gonna be your own private oasis back here. But notice this, you know, you still got room for, for trees, you got space for a jacuzzi, a lap pool. Everything was really thought out well here to include, you know, a space, you know how hot it gets out here, come on, the valley. You got mountains on both sides, funnels the heat like a damn furnace. You gotta have a pool. Really nice space back here. You can totally entertain. We just had a party, 150 people here, and it really held well. So that's what I gotta say about that. You wanna see me dance? No, God! What's too late? Truth is, you are completely and utterly useless. Inside we go. Into your living and dining area here. We're kind of moving away from a complete open concept. It was awesome while it lasted. Why the arches inside when we're used to seeing them outside? Well, I think it's not only a brilliant design choice, but also helps create a tad bit of separation between the living, the kitchen, and the dining. This room is really special to me. I'm a big fan of these two pendants right here. Make a little statement. Great dining area where you're gonna be able to fit your entire party and they're just surrounded by, again, look at these windows, a nice colonial, huge square. Lighting is just so much light. Huge square is not the best design terms. I think, and we can do some research, I would call these a colonial style window. Aluminum clad, great, durable. Oh, that's wood. Oh man, but they looked aluminum, They didn't they? Nope. 
Now that we decided that the windows are in fact not aluminum but wood, we can move on to this kitchen. Why don't we just start right here? With this Calcutta marble. You are so nice. Waterwork fixtures, the sink. Look at this wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. And here we are with the statement piece. Your Lacona. 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 La Conure, the name for French ovens, known for not only its just impeccable design and its actual engineering, but these brass knobs, they don't have any sealant on it, so this is just a patina that will show over time. It'll get homier with every meal that you cook. All for the bargain of a price of $15,000. Cool, let's move on. Thermidor, Thermidor, beer. Bold choices in this kitchen, right? You know, not everything is white like you typically see. I love it. I think it absolutely brings out the veins in the Calcutta marble. Dark gray blue color just makes the brass really pop off. Man, that La Clonia is just sexy as hell from this angle. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Should we see the living room now? Follow along. What makes a house different from a house? <laughs> Scratch that one. Do another take. What makes one home, s what causes a buyer to walk into one home and be like, oh, this is, you know, really cute, nice house. But walking into another house and you're just like, whoa, I don't know what's happening, but I love it. Let me tell you, look at these custom built-in shelves all along, double teaming this stunning, fireplace. Here you got fun brass knob, staging that really matches the entire feel of the home, and one more custom built bench right here. And I'll just say this, you ever walk into a space where it's like, I don't know how to furnish it. Do we put a couch there? Do we put accent chairs? You, you got the decision made for you now. This is just one of those things that was thought out from the beginning so you didn't have to. While I'm here, I wanted to share a bit about where we are in Los Angeles. Valley Village, surrounded by some amazing neighborhoods. Not to say it's not one of its own, but you have Studio City, a stone's throw away. Sherman Oaks, two, three minute drive. Toluca Lake, not far at all. What do all these things have in common is good school districts. Now Valley Village, your dollar goes a little bit farther here. The demographic does change a bit. You get more families, it's a bit more suburban, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't get to Ventura Boulevard in, in three, five minutes. Great schools, family friendly. Who's gonna move into this house? Either a young couple ready to have children moves in here or a family with maybe one, two kids. That's who I'm going with. Let's move on upstairs, if that's okay. To the second story we go. Oh, that's nice. That hits nice. There's nothing I love more than a snag. There's nothing I like more than a skylight. Just a way to introduce so much light to a space that would normally be quite dark. You know, that's a, that's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> that's gotta be good. Six by four. We'll go with that. Could fit a whole elephant up this stairwell. <laughs> Secondary bedrooms are this way. So let's run through that and then drool over the master suite into our second bedroom. I gotta get a more childlike feel in this room just based off the staging, the art, the toys. Really great space. Looking over on the street, your bathroom, great shower tub combo, playful tile on the floor. That's all we gotta say about this. Let's scoot along. Boom. It feels bigger. It might be bigger. White does that, right? You use more darker colors on the walls. The room's gonna feel a bit smaller. Here they kept it a bit more open. Windows and natural light is something that they said, you know what? <laughs> Let it run. Let us be free. Plethora throughout the home. Into the bathroom. Blue subway tile here. I do love this blue kind of a, more of a handmade kind of tile feel to it. Has a bit of texture. Helps a room not feel as sterile especially when you're using subway tiles. With that said, <laughs> let's go where no being has been before. Oh, man, it's things like this. This is where the value comes from. They didn't have to, but they did. Into your primary suite. You got the white oak planks, the vaulted ceiling, tons of light, tons of extra space. I'm, I'm a big fan. Here we go. Into the closet. Nice. I think this would be considered plenty of space. This is this is not a walk-in. This is a walk-around closet. Lie, 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 lie. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, behave. Check it out. 
my my heart goes to this tub. It goes to the moment with the window above, the waterwork fixtures, the wheels. Take the wheels. So check it into the shower we go. Dual shower heads. The gold splashes off the wall. They went with a, a wider subway tile, white, for the majority of the shower, which is fine. I think it's a bit simple, but you know what? They also don't want to overdo it with the busyness. So you can see right here, you got the step is that Calcutta marble used downstairs. We also have, you know, a multicolored tiles on the floor. So I think they just wanted to keep this a bit simple. Let the surround do the talking and it's doing. Beautiful. Dual vanity. Really love the fixtures that they decided to go with. So good. Wow. Because you gotta have a fireplace. You gotta have one. This bedroom is fuego, quite literally. And now it's time to shine on our private deck right off the suite. Cobblestone would love to put my foot on that and just soak in the heat. Maybe do a running jump into the pool. We're not gonna do that. But you know what we are gonna do? We're gonna say goodbye. And if you wanna be the king of the castle. Oh, well. King in the castle, king in the castle. Of this beautiful home, you just reach out to me. We'll make it happen. Until then, so long. Toodaloo.